The Ultimate Warrior, one of the biggest stars in professional wrestling lore, died Tuesday at the age of 54, with her ESPN headline on Brian Campbell. The death of Warrior, who was born James Brian Helwig, came just three days after his induction into the World Wrestling Entertainment Hall of Fame. With us to talk about his legacy is WWE Executive Vice President Paul Triple H Levesque. And Paul, I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. First off, what was the reaction from the WWE family to the passing of Warrior? I mean, um, we're devastated. You know, it was such a, a wonderful homecoming, so to speak, um, such a great celebration of, a, of an iconic career with the Hall of Fame and the appearance at WrestleMania and the moment of the return kind of of the ultimate warrior character, so to speak, in ring on Monday Night Raw. Um, the, the talent were so happy. The warrior was just beside himself excited. I don't think I saw the smile come off his face the whole week. Um, and then to have it just all, um, you know, come to an end a day later is just shocking and tragic and devastating to all of us. You, of course, have been in the ring with him in the past. What do you think is his legacy that he leaves behind to the pro wrestling entertainment business? Well, I mean, I think first and foremost, Warrior's legacy, as he said in his Hall of Fame induction speech, his most important accomplishment is um, what he leaves behind, and that's his wife, Dana, and, and being a great father to his uh, two just beautiful daughters, Madigan and Indiana, you know, um, I think for him, that would be what he would say is his biggest legacy on the world. As far as his career, I think for him, the belief in the ultimate warrior, the belief in that warrior mentality, um, his legacy is that if you believe in yourself and that you work hard and you persevere, that anything is possible. And he believed that so much so that he signed everything that he did, whether an autograph or a contract, with Always Believe Warrior. And, of course, he legally changed his name to Warrior. You know, it's no secret he had been on the outs with the company for years. How important, though, was it to him and the company after so long to have this reunion like you had at the Hall of Fame before his death? It was, it was a, a wonderful opportunity for us and we're grateful that we had the chance you know this was a, a we were, i've been working on this for a while for me it was an 18 month process with warrior an 18 month you know healing process it doesn't happen overnight but i think um both sides have grown you know he had grown as a man we have grown um as as people and as a company and um it was time you know it was time to move on and just let the business things that had gone on in the past be passed. Um, he is so deserving of being immortalized in the Hall of Fame and to have his moment in front of the WWE Universe and his legions and legions of fans around the globe. Um, I, can, I can tell you that that meant the world to us. And I know personally, um, it meant the world to him, you know, and, and for him to be able to do that, to come back at the Hall of Fame, to be immortalized in front of his fans, to come back to 75,000 screaming uh, Ultimate Warrior fans at WrestleMania, to stand on stage as the Ultimate Warrior um, at, at Monday Night Raw, and to do all that in front of his wife and in front of his the two little girls who um, just idolized and are so proud of their father and he is so proud of them. Um, to be able to do that for him, you know, it, the whole thing is bittersweet because it was the greatest moment he probably could have had. I mean, I think if you asked him a career highlight, many people would say, well, it's his career highlight is WrestleMania six at the Toronto uh, Sky Dome when he beat Hulk Hogan for the WWF at the time title. Um, I don't know. I think he would have disagreed with that now, and I think he would have said the greatest moment in his career was three days ago uh, being inducted into the Hall of Fame with uh, Madigan in Indiana walking him on stage. Well, the Hall of Fame tribute was, was a fitting way for his career to come full circle, and we thank you so much for the time, Paul. I, I thank you very much. With your latest ESPN headline, I'm Brian Campbell.